Among the documents released by Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, chairman of the Judiciary Committee, is a set of typed annotations to a 2017 New York Times article made by Peter Strzok, in which Strzok, then a top FBI official, refuted the paper's allegation that phone records and signals intelligence had captured evidence of contact between Trump campaign personnel and Russian intelligence. We have not seen evidence, Strzok noted, of any individuals affiliated with the Trump team in contact with IOs, meaning intelligence organizations. It's an FBI record. It's their documentation knocking down this phony story uh, about Trump-Russia collusion. They knew then that it wasn't true. Other documents include a 57-page summary of the interviews that FBI agents conducted in January 2017 with the analyst who served as the primary subsource for Christopher Steele. Steele is the former British spy paid by the Democrats in 2016 to compile a dossier on then-candidate Donald Trump. Brimming with salacious and unverified allegations about Mr. Trump, the Steele dossier was ultimately cited in court as the basis for continued surveillance on Carter Page, a former Trump campaign advisor. The heavily redacted summary shows the subsource felt, quote, uncomfortable working on, quote, the election assignment. As for the dossier's most sensational claim, that Mr. Trump engaged in, quote, unorthodox sexual activity with prostitutes at the Moscow Ritz-Carlton, the subsource said he reported it to Steele only as, quote, rumor and speculation. The Justice Department's inspector general concluded last year that the account provided by the subsource conflicted with assertions the FBI made when it renewed FISA surveillance on page. Senator Graham said these documents should place some individuals in legal jeopardy, a reference to the criminal probe being led by U.S. Attorney John Durham. Senator Dianne Feinstein of California, the committee's ranking Democrat, had no comment, but congressional Democrats say these disclosures do not change the fact that the Trump campaign welcomed Russian interference in 2016. Reporting from Chesapeake Bay, Maryland, James Rosen.